So today's video looks a little bit different. I am in a very different space and I'm going to let you come with me as I explore my new office and studio environment. Let's take a look. So here is the space. Now I do have the wide angle on, on my iPhone camera right now. So it may look quite big, but what we have is about four and a half meters that way and about uh, almost four meters that way. So uh, it's, um, it's a pretty big space, lots of room for lots of different things. What I'm planning on doing, and I'll show you more in a minute, is having my main desk over here somewhere, shooting that direction with this being the background wall. But maybe I'll flip that the other way around, not sure yet. And then over here, another desk. Again, though, we'll get to that in a minute. So here's what I'm thinking of doing so far. I have a desk along here somewhere. This seat is my sort of main seat and uh, it keeps swinging away. And I have my main camera set up over here. Maybe, you know, an A cam looking right at me. Uh, maybe a B cam wider. And then um, the desk, like I said, would be right in front of me so I can show things off. And then maybe I'll put another camera over here as sort of like a tight shot on that desk. If you get the kind of idea that I'm going for. And then um, if I just go over here from behind that seat, you'll see that there's plenty of space in front of me to have lots of things like the uh, the table there. I can have a camera there, maybe a couple, maybe a teleprompter. I can have a couple of lights up shining down the way towards me and the table. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be quite nice. I'll probably try to cover up all of these windows as much as possible. They do have blinds on them right now. So that will get me pretty far if I put this down. Excuse the noise. And that gets me pretty far. Close it up. The light just changed a lot in here. So there's blinds on that window, on that window, but there's no blind on that window right now. So I need to come up with something to cover that, or I'll just let some natural light spill in. Not entirely sure just yet. And then over here, I have some plans. You can see my shoes just sitting there. I thought I'd get comfortable in my socks today. Um, what I'm planning on doing over here is having another table, and then I'll do like a top-down shot uh, so I can have that set up all the time. One of the things I really like to do for B-roll is have top-down shots. So I'll have a table along here like that, and then a nice big soft light above it, shining down, a camera pointing perfectly down at that. And I think it'll look really nice. I find for most of my videos, what I really want is that top-down shot set up, ready to go all the time. I may add a top-down camera to my main desk, but I'm not 100% sure yet if I need or want that. But for sure, I want this soft top-down area over here that I can use all the time for all sorts of things. So. That's my general plan for that corner, maybe. One thing you may be wondering is where am I going to put all my extra stuff? Tripods, lights, gear that I'm testing, gear that I own that I, I really should get rid of, but I still have. Well, that's why I went a little bit all out and got not one office, but two office spaces. So through this wall here, uh, I have another space that we can take a look at right now. Okay, now we're in space number two. On the other side of that wall was the other office space. Again, the wide lens is on here, uh, the same distance this way, four and a half meters, and then just a couple of meters that way. So it is a smaller overall space. You'll see another chair in here. I bought three of these. Good to have a chair in each room. Um, you'll also notice that the floor is not so nice. Hopefully I can do something about that. At least a big carpet rug, something nice just to make that a little bit better. Some of my plans for this room really is sort of the hub of a lot of the equipment and that noisy stuff will live in here. Another plan I thought about having was doing the overhead shot in this corner instead. So it's sort of in a separate room, a different place that I can use. And then I can keep some space in that main office over there for me to sit and be in every day. I'm also considering making a main desk set up in here for general day-to-day -day work and keeping that room as the main studio, but not 100% sure yet. One of the main reasons I got these two office spaces really was this wall here. Um, you can hear there's not much to it. It's quite a thin wall between this office and that office. 
And because that one is going to be my main recording studio, I really didn't want someone else to rent this office. Now, luckily, the space here was pretty affordable. I was able to do that with um, not too much extra cost, getting this extra office here. And a lot of the idea in this office, in this room that I'm in right now, would be storage, would be maybe my general office day-to-day -day things, and then save that for filming. But I'm not entirely sure yet what I want to do there. But really, at first, this will be the storage room, the place to keep extra gear, things I don't need right now, and uh, things that I plan on using eventually. So we'll see how it all shapes out and what things I can work out and do with these two spaces. So what else can you expect from this space? Well, I will make plenty of videos in this space. Live streams will happen from here, all that good stuff. Anything I want to film will happen in this room. And that's the whole idea about getting these two offices, dedicated studio environment that I can always film from. I can always things, leave things set up. I don't have to worry about tidying everything away in the house. That was one of the main reasons that I wanted to move here. That's one. Number two is the internet speed here is much better, like way better than it was at home. So I can do a lot more live streams, feel a lot more comfortable about that and do a lot more work in the online environments where I didn't want to commit to anything before. That's number two. And number three is I have a lot of plans for members only videos. So there's loads of details that won't make it into main videos, me setting things up here. Uh, the other day I spent almost 2000 euros on equipment just to get me started in here. Uh, bits and pieces that I've always wanted to buy that I've never had space for. So I'll keep all of those kind of videos for members of the channel. If you want to join the membership, just click on the join button below any of the videos on this channel and you'll see members only content. I think the first video that I'll make for that is whenever I get all that stuff that I just ordered, lighting, stands, and lots of little bits and pieces, then I'll make a video just about that. Just remember, so join in, see plenty of updates about that stuff coming soon. And what about the tiny studio? Well, the tiny studio was really great to have. I really enjoyed having that a lot, but it kind of got in the way of just being at home, being able to switch off and not constantly feel like I want to work on something. I just want to make a separation between home and studio. So that's kind of the plan here. This space is for work. Home is for home, relaxing. It also means that I don't have to have monitors lying around, microphones standing up. People come to visit and uh, it's funny at first to have all these things. It's quite interesting. What, what do you do here? What are you up to? But then you kind of want to use your dinner table to eat dinner and there's all this stuff in the way, microphone arms and all that. So really the idea is get all that stuff out of the house, move it here instead. And I can just create stuff as much as I want to create stuff. That's my goal for this year. Something I set for myself was try to put out more videos. So far this month I've put out, in January that is, I've put out a video every single week and I really wanna continue that for the rest of the year. And I think a studio space like this, dedicated environment, will really help me do that. So that is my intention for this space. Other things may come out of it, but for the meantime, it's really a space for me to work, record, edit, upload, and then go home and just relax at home. So I'm hopeful and excited for that, definitely. Before I make any big changes in this space, I would love to hear what you have to say. Anything that sounds good or not so good so far, I'm interested, I wanna know. I can paint the walls if I want to. I can change some things. I can ask for other things to be added, but I don't wanna make any major changes without really thinking them through. So I would love to know your thoughts before I go much further. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Maybe an update from here, maybe a live stream from here. We'll see, waiting patiently on a few final things and then I can actually use this space. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.